Hello it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson we're continuing on with the dynamic weather script and we're going to begin to input code that's going to handle skybox blending. Now if I downsize the script for a moment as you're aware we can only have one skybox at the moment and in my scene I have the sunny skybox assigned but obviously this isn't really very good when we swap out to either overcast or rain weather states so we need to blend in another skybox so let's come back to the script now in this video we're just going to get the basics in place and we'll start fleshing out the script in later lessons but first thing we need to do is create a list of variables now you can put them anywhere at the top I'll put mine here and the first one we need is of type public it's going to be of type float and we'll call this underscore skybox blend value close the line off and into the comments we'll say value that defines our skybox blend now how this variable is going to work is we're going to have one skybox which is going to have a value of zero for the sunny for the funder it will have a, another skybox which will have a value of one and so on and that's what this variable is for and it has to be a float because obviously when we're blending it can exist at a point between two skyboxes so let's come to the next line and again it can be of type public it can be of type float again and we'll call this skybox blend time we'll close the line off straight into the comments and we'll say rate at which the skybox blends which I think is fairly self-explanatory it's how quickly the one skybox will blend into a, another and we'll come to the next line now I'm actually going to create a separate function that we're going to call to manage the skybox blending but because of this we're going to need a series of bools that tells that function what state we are in so again we can come here and these can all be of type private and of type bool and we'll just call it underscore sunny state close line off into the comments defines if the sunny state is active and we just need balls for every other state so I'll copy this line and I'll paste it in four times three and finally four and we'll just change the naming convention so funder state we'll change the comment as well and uh, we'll just keep going through so the next one's missed and we'll change the comment again and the next one for overcast and I'll just tidy up the comment and change it here and finally for the snow state and again finally we'll change the comment there and we'll just save that at, mo at the moment so we'll use these balls to let the script know what weather states it is in it will also know which skybox value and it will blend 
according to the time we define. And we need to define a time for our skybox blend. So I'll say equals, and I'm going to use a value of 0.25f. And I'll tidy up the comment. Now, this actually switches out the skybox very quickly. Um, far too quickly for a normal game. But I've set it high so you guys can easily see it when we come round to testing. But as I always say, you will need to experiment with this value when you come to use this in your final project. And now we need to create the manager function itself. So I'm going to come right down to the bottom here, just below the void snow weather. And it can be of type void, and we'll just call this skybox blend manager. We'll open and close brackets, we'll open and close. And as we always do, we'll come inside and we'll say debug.log and open and close, close the line off, inside the brackets, little quote marks, and we'll actually copy in the name of the function. So that is now set up ready for some code. And we'll save that off there. Now, please don't worry if you still do not understand how these variables are going to work. It will become obvious as we actually use the bulls in the various weather states and of course when we come out into this function. So I think we'll leave it here for this lesson and we'll pick this up in the next. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time and until then, bye for now.